So continuing to field questions here for us, Emily. I have a student asking a slightly unusual question about the clinical master series forms for 2CK. Those are the NBME subject specific forms, such as PEDS, Obzingaini, internal medicine, etc. I've made lots of clips on that stuff, how you're going to do that before your 2CK. But this student's question is, is scoring between 21 to 26 on those forms? Now, once again, the scoring on the clinical mastery series forms, very fucking weird and unusual, which is that when you take the 50 question forms, you'll get their mini score report after, which will give you an arbitrary figure of 20. I don't know where they come up with this figure, okay? It has nothing to do with 20 wrong, nothing like that. It's just they'll give you a score of 20. They'll say that's average with a standard deviation plus or minus three. So let's say you score 24 on one of the clinical mastery series forms. It's like, that's pretty good, right? So the student's asking about if he is scoring between 21 to 26 on the clinical mastery series forms, which means between above average and two standard deviations above the mean, he's asking if that's a good score range after he's already finished UWorld. And my response is, of course, that's a fucking good score range after you finish UWorld. So I think the value of this clip is more just to provide some information to some of you guys watching this. We're like, wait, what? What's that weird scoring about in the clinical mastery for series forms? Now you're at least aware, okay? There are 50 question forms for 2CK. You need to do those before your exam, okay? The real US simile and the clinical mastery series forms, the NBME questions from full length forms six through 11 as well, the same exact questions, okay? So if you wanna get your scores up as much as possible, you are going to sit all of the clinical mastery series forms. And of course, scoring between 21 to 26, which is above average to two standard deviations above the mean, of course that's uh, a good score range to be in after you've finished UWorld. And one final point is, especially if you're scoring high on internal medicine, if you're getting 25, 26, if you're scoring really high on, inter on internal medicine forms, even if you've done somewhat okay at best, 20, 21, on OBS, Gain, Psych, some of the other subjects, it's okay. You're poised to score greater than 260 on the step two because the internal medicine forms, uh, those reflect your overall uh, knowledge base when it comes to 2CK. A lot we can talk about. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.